Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I've got a Christmas haul for you from the Dollar Tree. I found some more awesome stuff and I want to share it with you. It's going to be a big one. I even pulled out my Merry Catmas mug. One of my um, co-workers got this for me a few years ago. Mm. It's a cool day. I think it's going to be in the high of the 60s. And I have a football game tonight. But before I get ready for that, I want to show you what I got. And Mr. Alex, oh, he wants to say hello too, right? But, oh, he said, no, I don't. No, I don't. Hi. He's so cute. This morning I woke up to a FaceTime call from my niece, Sarah, and I felt Alex jump on the bed. And I said, come here, bunny, to come say hi to Sarah. And I wasn't looking at him. He had his ball in his mouth. He's so cute. He was so cute. And Alec, no, Wellington went to the vet for his ear. They couldn't really look deep enough. He wasn't having it. It was painful for him. She thinks maybe he has a polyp down in there, which happens to older cats. And it traps, ooh, hair. I need a haircut, guys. It traps moisture in their ear and he could have like an ear infection or some type of a um, yeast infection down in there. So I have mom, he's on drops. I've been watching him. If after 10 days, the drops don't cure and he doesn't stop scratching and shaking his head, then we're gonna have to sedate him so they can get really deep in there and figure out what's going on. Um, the shaking is getting better, but this morning he was shaking his head again. So I don't know. I don't know guys, but he's okay. It's just more of an annoyance and I don't want him to be uncomfortable. So we got that. Okay, Dollar Tree haul. Let's do it. First of all, in the party section, they have all these bright colored glass filler. On the cover of the magazine I showed for the last Christmas one, they had the bottle brushes with bulbs, like these little balls glued into the tree and I thought that was perfect. I don't want just Christmas colors, so I grabbed a pack of the vase filler with all the bright colors because I thought that would be fun. And the different sizes because I think I will want the smaller, the smaller ones to decorate the foam tree or the bottle brush. So I got that. Um, I grabbed one of these. This is from Super Soft Microfiber Cloth. This is from the car cleaning section, but this is fantastic for like fake snow. Um, my tiered tray, I think I mentioned, is very deep. I'm gonna be filling the bottom probably with like crumpled up newspaper or something. And then I will put these cloths. I got one for now, I'll grab another one. But I'll put these cloths on top to, to cover whatever I'm using to fill the basket on my tray. But this is great for fake snow. Just as a heads up, lay it out. You can put a village on here. Some, and they're all different. Feeling. Some of them are fluffier than others. This one is, it's okay for what I need it for. So I grabbed that. Um, I did pick up my first pack of tissue, 24 pieces. It's red and green. Um, I'm getting ready. I think I have all the stuff I need now. I need to cut out the Cricut designs to do my video on the advent calendar that I'm making this year for Sarah. I make her one every year and I think I have everything I needed, but I needed some tissue to take care of that. Um, okay. I talked about in my last, ooh, my last haul where I got these, um, what are they calling them? Brass wreath rings. And I thought I was going to maybe do like a boho. And so I grabbed a doily to tie in the middle to do like a snowman. And I might still do that but I kind of went a different direction. I'm gonna be making a video actually this afternoon with two of these, um, more of a boho style. Not saying that I'm not gonna revisit the snowman. I just made a snowman last year. So I wanna try something different, but this fits perfectly. And by when I say it fits perfectly, what I mean is you would lace it into the center to, go, to get that white snowman effect. And I can do a video showing you how to do that. Um, so I did get the materials for that, but I'm not, my next DIY video that I'm actually recording after this is a different take on those brass rings, just as a heads up. 
And to go with that, I grabbed some greenery. I have greenery in the basement, but I saw this and it's something you can get right now. So, and it's, I'm um, not gonna lie, it's a lot of fallout. But I grabbed two of these pine with the white, I think it's pine, just frosted greenery with white snow covered berries. Um, I also got, I think four of just the frosted greenery without the berries. These are a little thicker. Um, I'm going to be taking them apart, but I love greenery and it's very trendy right now, but I love the greenery. Um, I am covered in glitter just so you know. And then I grabbed two with the red berries because I think I want to do a red and white theme on this. And this either is going to be my new front door wreath because I did want to update some of my wreaths that I've had for the holidays. I keep, <laughs> I'm keeping this glitter bomb in a bag because I am legit covered in glitter. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to decorate this for winter or if I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. I may do it on my video as Christmas and then I can always just switch out the bow and make it winter. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Speaking of ribbon, I did get a black and red buffalo check. This is the colors that I'm doing my house. I may use this ribbon, but I think I have a different ribbon I want to use. Uh, but they have gnome ribbon. Guys, what the heck? Look at the red gnome. It's red and gray. Like, I think all their gnomes are, the theme is red and gray. So I grabbed two. It's the wire... Wire edged nine feet standard Dollar Tree ribbon. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I had to show it to you. So I grabbed a couple of those in case I decide I need to do a bow. Um, oh, and then this is a no order, but I did get the taco mini dog treats and the bacon flavored dog treats. These are for my brother's dog. Um, he has, I don't even know what her breed is. She's a She's a pity mixed with something. And I think Jack Russell, if you ask me, because girl is spastic. But for Christmas, I always buy for the pets. So I grabbed her some treats because I thought these were fun. They are made in the USA, Topeka, Kansas. And there's really no offensive ingredients in them for her. So she'll enjoy those. And then for her, I'm actually, if you have a Costco membership, they have... For the bigger dogs or the medium to bigger dogs, Nyla Bone three pack for $10. So I'm going to run back to Costco probably next week when I do my next Costco shopping and grab a pack for her for Christmas. She's a chewer and I think that'll be fabulous. I don't know if my cousin's dogs will be able to handle, um, or they would tear it up. They're, they're super chewers, my cousin's dogs. Um, okay. I got some wooden stuff. They have wooden snowmen. Guys, are these not adorable? These remind me of the peg dolls that you can get and make in color, but they're just a little smaller. But I feel like if you have a little person in your life that enjoys this type of stuff, they could just set them out. It's just fun. They have the Christmas trees. Um, in the wooden shape. And then they have the angels, which are peg dolls. Um, I don't know if I love the, um, the angel wings that are already attached. It looks like it's just that foam or some type of, yeah, it's that foam. But you can always take the wings off too. And then paint it and reattach the wings if you wanted little angels. But these are just peg dolls. They're a little small, so I wouldn't give them to anybody too terribly tiny that still puts things in their mouth because I think that would be a hazard. Um, but if you have like an older child, I think these would be fun to even decorate like a fairy garden if you do that or put them on a wreath or something of that nature. I just think they're adorable and I love the little packages and you do get eight pieces in each package. And then they did step up or I I'm just so impressed with the Dollar Tree right now with the things that they're coming out with at the holidays, but I also feel like it's because it's different than I've seen. Um, so they have one of these. These are snow 
snowflakes connected together. What I don't like is that they chose to use these white, I don't even know what they are. They look like gift bag, like what holds the handles on gift bags or shoelaces. I will um, most likely change that out if I choose to. I just don't like it. I think it distracts. I really felt like they should have used the metal ring that they had on the other ones, but that's just me. So I grabbed this shape and then I grabbed this shape in the hanging, which I mean, really just spray paint these white, probably change up these whatever strings that are holding them together. I just don't like it. I think it's bulky and it distracts. And yeah, you could just hang those or you could separate them and use them. But I like them hung, even on a porch. If you have like a covered porch, that would be pretty. And they had one other shape, but I feel like that other shape was this. So I just grabbed these, which you get only five of these. So I'm wondering, that is really weird. You only get five snowflakes, but all the other shapes you get eight which is odd to me, but so you get five snowflakes in here, which I love these again for winter, for winter decorating. I always look for something to put out after Christmas, but before spring. So I really kind of want to step up my, my winter game. And I think snowflakes and snowmen are great winter things. So I grabbed those guys. I know this is new this year. It's Santa. Like what? And to me, I'm into the staining. I may just stain Santa and then um, maybe like paint his boots red, black or something. Just do a little something. But I'm not going to try to paint these like Santa. I think that, you know, isn't necessary. But I love the idea of staining them. So I got Santa. They had the plain trees and then they had the trees with the holes drilled in them. And you get eight Christmas trees as well, which I like the star on the top of these. And then these snowmen with the side view. Look at the, look at the nose. Um, and you get eight of those. And I really enjoy. I enjoy the new shapes this year. For me, it's definitely the snowman, uh, the Santa and the snowman. And again, for winter, snowman and snowflake garland, snowman, snowflake little scene. I think is great for Christmas, but also great for winter you know, a transition. So I grabbed just one pack of each. I don't think I'll need more than that. Um, but you know, I'm loving the wooden, um, the wooden stuff this year. I did find at my one store, they had one of these that says chilling with my nomies. And again, this is winter to me, not Christmas, but I love it. It's a cute little gnome. And then they also had gnome for the holidays. Now this is their Christmas gnome color scape with the red, black, and gray, which is also the Ohio State Buckeye colors. I could do a little OSU know me something. So I grabbed one. I only grabbed one of these to show you guys. I enjoy them, but I don't enjoy the feel of them. And they certly don't do well with like, they're 100% they're for show. I wouldn't, I don't use them because they're weird and they don't absorb anything. So we got more gnome stuff. Oh, that's not it on the gnome stuff. I should guess dig into the gnomes. I grabbed a mug that says gnome for the holidays with the three little, it's the same print that's on the towels. The little gnomes. Ugh, I love them. Uh, these cups are great. They don't keep your coffee very hot. Um, and I would say be very careful when you screw the lids on, like screw it, push it, screw it again. I can't tell you how many times the lid wasn't on and I dumped coffee down the front of me. Like you really need to be conscientious when you're screwing this lid on that it goes on straight. And then what I do is I put my finger over the hole and I tip it towards the back. And if liquid comes out, then I know my lid's not on properly. But other than that, they're great. And yeah, I just hand wash. I don't stick them in my dishwasher. I don't know if you're allowed to or not. I don't does not say but I don't because I think it takes the paint off although I usually just use them for one holiday so I grabbed that uh the gnomies um I also grabbed and I don't need more mugs but I thought this one was a decent size and it also says gnome for the holidays on it and it's a decent size mug and it's pretty sturdy. Um, you wanna check for your paint. This one doesn't have a great paint job on it. I may use it as a drink. I may just put 
something in it like on my coffee bar or something but I like it and it says gnome for the holidays it's the same print that's on the everything else but I like it it's cute and I love the buffalo check on this one dude's hat and it may end up as a gift to somebody I don't know we're far away from Christmas I'm not worried about individual things I hauled this one and I think I have a second one in a different bag I have for another haul but they have gnome stockings in the red and gray, and I love it. And I think, let's see, is his beard attached? It is. Now, I know people are going to take these home and take the beard off and reuse it for, like, other gnomes. And you can totally do that. I am not doing that. Um, but I do enjoy, it's just gray felt. And then his little nose and some of this, like, Nordic. I think type print, love it. And I think what I'm gonna use these two for um, are the pets. I'm gonna put the treats. Cause one of these I may end up giving to uh, my nephew's dog, like put a treat bag in here and then put um, the Nyla bones down in here. Maybe, we'll see. That's kind of my thought process to use these as a gift bag. And I love it. Crazy Cat is attacking the bag over here. So, you know, I love all the gnome stuff, but how much gnome stuff do we need in our lives, people, really? Okay, now, oh, I did get a second one of these, so now I have two elf feet to figure out what I'm gonna do with. <laughs> um, I will tell you, like, this one has a little bit of, they're falling apart, especially around here. Now, for me, this is fine, I'll just trim trim this green off and it'll probably the feet won't stick out all the way but it'd be cute so I did grab one more of that so I would have an even number now these are adorable they're calling it just decor but they have on the same stick the little gnomes and these are not bad I love the little snowflake again this to me the gray could totally be winter um, and you get two and I feel like if they're so, they're stuff, you could cut this wood off if you wanted to use them for something different. But I grabbed them in the gray and then they had them in the packages with just the red and white. And then they had the packages with the green and the red and white. So I got two packages because I didn't see, um, I wanted two of the green. I like that a lot. I love them all, but these are the three there's one more variety that comes in a two pack of the red and white. But I love them. And I think these would be great too in a tear tray um, because you can slide them down in and they can just stick out. You can always take a wooden, a wood cutter or a pair of nips or something and shorten the stick. Heck, just break it off if you want um, to, you know, put it down in your hole in the hole put it down in the, in something like a vase or in your tiered tray i'm trying to make room here so i can pull out the rest of this stuff um the last gnome things i found on this haul are these little gnome ornaments and i think you could use them as a shelf sitter you may have to like attach them to something or lean them up against but there's the gray red and white and then there's the um the different, the red with the gray and white. Yeah, so I love the red and white, but the scarlet and gray always has a place in my heart. Um, you know, again, they're a little messy as far as there's all kinds of little furs all over them, but honestly, a quick cleanup um, goes a long way with these, just kind of fix their little beards and their bodies. And if you want, you could like pull the beard to the side like that and iron on somebody's name and make it an ornament or a year on the back and make it like a personalized. You could just pull his beard. I wouldn't cut it, but pull it to the side like that so it goes over and then iron on somebody's name. I think would be really cute, especially for like a package topper. That would be cute personalized if you have time for that. But I loved them and you know me and my gnomes. I'm a little gnome obsessed here, guys. And I am now full of all the glitter and yuck. Okay, now I grabbed these. They had them in Santa, 
snowman and a reindeer. The reindeer was super cute, but here's my thought on these. If you decide to do the snowman, the boho snowman, you could attach this ring to the back and then send, put that in the center and then paint his hat and face. You can even pry off this scarf or cover it with like some ribbon or whatever, but you could make yourself a really fun snowman. You can just cover this in ribbon, cover it in um, yarn. They sell yarn at the Dollar Tree, gets a bunch of that white and cover it. You could take a doily and lace it into the center. So these three pieces could make a fantastic snowman. If I have time, I will build this snowman for sure. Um, because I just thought that is so boho and it's so in my wheelhouse of how I'm decorating right now. Oh, I spilled some red juice. I need to spray that with some spray and wash. Um, they have a bunch of the ornaments and I've showed you a couple, but look at the size of these ornaments, guys. They are huge. My plan for these is to get some of the, um, I can't remember what it's called, polyurethane. You pour it on the inside, you coat it, you turn it over and you let the polyurethane drain like a day. It still needs to be wet, but you want all the excess out. Then you fill it with glitter, shake it let it dry and you have a glue ball you have a a gl uh, glitter bulb that look at how big that is i'm planning on hanging these outside on my front porch i grabbed one more so i have three i like things in threes and i want to hang them on my front porch and they're plastic oh fun so i don't have to worry about um the cold you could also just put paint in here you just want to Whatever you put in here to dry, you want to take this off and you want to leave it um, upside down. I usually like a red Solo cup and let it all drain out and dry completely on the inside before you try to use them. So it is a multi-day process, but it's super easy. And if I, again, if I have time, I'll show you how I glitter these up. You could also do the Santa, any of those. Um, that would work completely well. I don't, I'm not doing a whole bunch of Christmas crafting right now because it's a little early, but I do want to make my snowman while the material, so I, I always get this like, is it too early to Christmas craft, but the stuff is in the store and if somebody wants to make it for themselves, I need to get it out there so you can see. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, I love the poinsettias. These are new at my store this year. Um, it looks like on the green, it's the little foil curls and then the red, it's not glitter and it's not falling off, it's attached. So that's nice. These are like tie-on, but you could hot glue them or whatever. And this may make an appearance on my snowman today. We'll see. Or I mean on my wreath today or on the snowman. Cause I think that would look super cute on his hat. Oh, right. I just made a craft while I'm sitting here. All right, I'll make a video. Now, they have their regular gift bags out, but I found some gift bags that are a little different than I've ever seen before. So they have them in two packs. This one is just, and I love the natural, and it just says Merry Christmas and all different font. And then you get the poinsettia bag, but you get two of them for a dollar which I think is great for this size, especially if you're gifting like cookies or small things to people, these are great. So I grabbed those and then they had it in the green with the natural and on the back Christmas trees. I just love the simplicity. Now in the, in the craft paper, that's what this is called craft paper. They had the red trucks stamped and glittered and they were glittery, but they were fantastic. And then the second bag with those, I think said Merry Christmas in the glitter. So they did have a few glittery ones, but I didn't need all of that, but they do have them at one of my four stores had these bags yesterday. Um, yeah, and I love them and I just think they're basic enough that I can do whatever I want. And then this one was a personal favorite. <laughs> just black and white, fa la 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 la. This is very modern take. And then on the back, you just have red or black and green Christmas trees. And you know, they're just basic. I love this size. At my age, when you're not giving a lot, I say that like, 
<laughs> but a lot of my friends don't have little ones. We aren't giving each other tons of presents and my family were kind of just, you know, small little thank you gifts or little thoughtful gifts. And this is the perfect size in my opinion for that. So I grabbed just one of each and quite frankly, this will probably get me through the Christmas season. Everything else I'll wrap. But that, my friends, is everything in my second Christmas haul. Moving forward, I will not do a separate Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall, Dollar Tree haul. I will mat, you know, everything will be put together. But I wanted to do a second haul of just Christmas items. And I think these are fantastic. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great day and I will talk with you later.